This is number eight of my caption contest videos in which I put out a picture in my community tab in YouTube and people say what they want to about it and I pick the best of the comments and answers for them. So this time around I had a picture and it's from a flight that I took. I'm not sure when or where this was except for going by how little white there is in my beard. It was from quite a while ago. And already back then people had started saying, oh, this guy kind of looks like and sounds like the dude from The Big Lebowski. And so when we got a can that, this was back when Coke was doing all these names on the can, there was one that I got that said, share a Coke with dude. So I thought that could be quite interesting to have people comment on. And as you can guess, there were a lot of dude references. Here's the best one, I thought. The dude aboards. Okay, so that's clever, right? The dude is on the plane. And then there were a whole bunch of other dude references. So I've gathered them here in one place. You can see that, right? The dude abides, of course. I see dude and I click. Dudism on board. The sum of all philosophy equals dude. You do give off a Lebowski feel. And then finally, this is a great uh, name, Mad Dog Martha, saying when he abides. And then there was another good one here, Gregory Abides. Okay, so yeah, I, I get called the dude quite a bit. And then there was another good Lebowski thing. Careful, man, there's a beverage here, right? So that is from the movie. And I thought that was, you know, kind of a clever line for it. There were some others that were drawn from the movie, but I'm going to jump right into the other captions. And from this point on, they're all having to do with philosophy in one way or another. So here's a great one. When someone in first class throws a fit over high expectations and they upgrade one of the Stoics from coach, that would be me, although I'm not actually a Stoic. I just incorporate a lot of Stoicism. I don't know if I was in first class or not, but, you know, that's kind of a good picture. Then there were, uh, here's another one from ancient philosophy. What do you say about my pouring out a libation out of this cup to someone? Is it allowed or not? That is a reference to Plato's Phaedo and the famous death scene in that dialogue where Socrates is going to be drinking hemlock, which has been administrated by the guard. And the guard actually says, no, no, you know, we measured it out. You can't you have to drink the whole thing. At this point, they switch to Hegel stuff. So here's a good one. Beginners read Hegel's books to understand his philosophy. I drink his philosophy to understand him. So yeah, a lot to unpack there. I'm not going to try to delve too deep into it in this jokey one, but you know, drinking philosophy, uh, if we could do that, that would be kind of cool. Um, I think... You can see in that also a reference to Plato's Symposium, where uh, there's this idea that we could like transfer philosophy from one person to another, like going through a, a thread or bit of yarn, like capillary action, right? Here's another one. Phenomenology of spirit mixers, much shorter, much more terse, but this is quite good, you know, um, playing off of the double sense of spirit in this case. So I, I very much like that one. Here's another good one. When you don't have to read Hegel anymore. Now, I'm not at that point where I don't have to read Hegel. I have been reading him for quite a long time, but I still have to go back to the text in part because my memory is not great. Uh, and then we have, and here's almost like a commercial or sponsorship thing. And today's Half Hour Hegel is sponsored by the refreshing taste of Coca-Cola. Get a can today so you can refresh your mind after reading some Hegel. That's often something that we do need to do. Uh, Hegel is a, a tough read. And then we leave Hegel and behind. Here's a good reference to uh, one of the key psychological uh, innovators. Pictured here is the demonstration of the pleasure principle as in Freudian psychoanalysis. Well, yes and no. I mean, I do enjoy a Coke and uh, all sorts of 
other things are nice about that. I'm sure the seats were decent in the flight, but if I'm indulging myself in the pleasure principle, which is like, let's get as much pleasure as possible out of life, it ain't going to be just drinking a Coke. <laughs> so, and finally, here's the last one, biopower in soda form. That's a reference to Michel Foucault and people who've come after him invoking this notion of biopower, right? Power over life. And so how does that fit in with the dude? I'm not quite sure, but it was kind of a cool thing to say. So we'll do more of these caption contests. Keep your eyes peeled for them. You can jump in on them. You want to have something funny to say, something apt, something that'll get your caption into the video. Thanks to everybody who contributed. And that's all for this one.